Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now I'm going to be showing you the best way to solo the seven star Eevee. It does have a lot of health and if you're not careful it will drop your attack so much that you won't be able to do enough damage to it to beat the raid in time and it nullifies and removes negative effects a lot. So the three best Pokemon to do it is going to be Galarian Zapdos, my favourite. I probably clear the Eevee the most with the least amount of time remaining with this Galarian Zapdos. It's great, you don't even have to do anything really. You can kind of just turn your brain off and just keep clicking A and you'll pretty much do the raid. We have Annihilate because I wanted to put a Pokemon in here that everyone has and everyone has access to Annihilate. And the third option is going to be any Pokemon with Body Press. I like using Deontay. You can use Carbonite. So we're going to do the Eevee raid with each of these free. So you can see for yourself just how to do it and then you can go and farm it or get yourself the Eevee. So first of all, I'm going to show you the Galarian Zapdos one. So we're just going to challenge alone. With Eevee having 50 times health and a shield all the way through, it will take a little bit to take it out. So if the baby doll eyes at the beginning hits you, your attack will go down, but then it'll go up two and you'll be on plus one. Hopefully it does. And then after that, all we're going to do is use a thunderous kick. Moves this Eevee has, it has double edge, it has hyper voice, it has bite, and it also has charm. And on turn zero, it will use baby doll eyes. It will steal your Terra Charge around the beginning. So if you want to use Bulk Up first with this build and then use Thunderous Kick, you can do. And use Thunderous Kick again. It will drop the defense every time we attack with this move, but we only have 16 of them. So there's another Thunderous Kick. That was our third one, and we got a crit. Nice. Now, Double Edge will do quite a decent amount of damage to you. So there's another one. Do we have our Terrestrialize now? It will steal your Terra at the start, but I forgot if we've used three or four moves. So we can Terrestrialize, so we're going to Terrestrialize and use Thunderous Kick. Now that we're Terrestrialized, things will start to speed up. After this attack, we will get nullified. We have terrestrialized. Let's see how much damage we are doing this time. So as you can see, we do a ton of damage. And more importantly, we go back up to full health. So Eevee has removed negative effects from itself, and then it nullifies us. When this happens, just continue to use Thunderous Kick. It won't do too much damage straight after the removal. But after two attacks, it will start to do a lot of damage again. We do get a crit of half our health. That's unfortunate. There's our second Thunderous Kick after the removal. They're doing a bit more damage there, as you can see, and dropping the defense even more. Now, unless you get critted back to back, you should be fine in terms of recovering health. And it's very unlikely that will happen. There's another Thunderous Kick doing more damage this time. Back up to 300 health. We do get nullified here, but that's fine. Fine. Now, if you want to be safe, you can use bulk up at the start, and then every time you get nullified, you can use bulk up once more so that the double edge isn't doing as much damage and you're in literally zero danger, even with unlucky crits. Now, at some point in the raid, towards the end, the Eevee will start to attack twice every turn. I don't know why, but it's fine. We can still deal with it. Most of the time, it will use double edge and then or charm or something so here's our next attack it nearly takes it out we just need one more attack and after this attack we have five thunderous kicks left so we do have enough to just use it all raid and win and we have just under half the time remaining on a good raid you will have half the time remaining sometimes you'll have a little less than half but that's going to be a very easy solo as you can see you can pretty much just turn your brain off if you have a turbo controller you can even turn that on and just do the raid if you want to farm it I may have muted my mic during this bit by accident, but I am here to tell you what's what and what the builds are. I did forget the Galarian Zapdos, but it's going to be the Fighting Type Terror, the Shell Bell, Fudder's Kick, Bulk Up, Brick Break and Light Screen, Ability Defiant, Adamant Nature, Max IVs and everything except for Special Attack, EVs and HP and Attack. And then the Annihilate will be a Fighting Type Terror, the Held Item and Metronome. EVs and HP and attack, Adamant Nature, Max IVs and everything except special attack, the ability defined again, Drain Punch, Tarn, Brick Break and Bulk Up. You can replace Tarn with Focus Energy if you want a bit of fun, Tarn won't be any use here, we only really need Drain Punch and Bulk Up and Brick Break. Now I'm just going to get straight into the 7 star Eevee with Annihilate and I'll show you the method of doing it with Annihilate if you don't have the Galarian Zapdos. So because we have Defiant, it'd be a pointless for the Eevee to lower our attack. First two turns, you're going to use Bulk Up. And the only move that Eevee can actually use is going to be Bite because you are a Ghost type. During the two turns you use Bulk Up, Eevee should remove negative effects from itself and then steal your Terra Charge after the second one. If it doesn't steal your Terra Charge, then just wait until it does. There's no point in carrying on because it'll just kind of be a wasted move. And then what I like to do here, because the Eevee can't actually attack you, I like to use Brick Break three times so we get our Terra Unfortunately, we didn't get hit with the baby doll eyes at the start with Annihilate. Okay, so after all that, we are on 357 health still, and this is where we're going to start to terrestrialize, carry on that metronome stack. 
we will switch it after the first nullification. So as you can see, we've cut back up to the time, it did a lot of damage, and now we're going to get nullified. That's going to be fine though, we're going to use bulk up twice, so we get back on our plus two attack and plus two defense. So that's our second bulk up, we are now on plus two attack and plus two defense. Now the EV will start to do more damage to you here, whether it be hyper voice or double edge, because of that double stab. And this is where we start to use drain punch. The reason I didn't use drain punch at the start is because I wanted to have the extra PP on drain punch. So there's another drain punch we got in front of the time. Now you're going to keep doing this until you get nullified again and the more attacks you get off the more powerful they will be just because of the held item metronome where every time you use drain punch in a row each time it gets 20% more powerful until you reach 200% and it'll just stay at that until something happens. So we did take it to below half and it is now in the yellow and now we get nullified again. Now we do get crit there so that's unfortunate. We will probably get double edge take because double edge does a lot more damage. So we're going to use bulk up twice again. Okay we do get charmed. I don't know why we get charmed there but it doesn't change anything. We are going to use bulk up again so we're on plus two plus two. This is the point where it starts to use two attacks every single time. We are now on plus two plus two. Time to switch back to Drain Punch. There's the first one. As you can see, we probably would have been finished or been one attack away from finishing with Galarian Zapdos here. So the Galarian Zapdos is going to be a bit quicker. We're getting there though. We are almost at the end. Oh, the Eevee is paralyzed. That's fun. We get it into the red. One or two more hits should do the trick. Will that do it? That does do it. Amazing. I didn't know how many drain punches we had left, but if you do run out of them near the end, you can just switch to Brit Break. You shouldn't run out of them. And we get an ability patch. Amazing. Onto our Diancy. Oh, whichever Pokemon you are using for your body press build, probably be a Corvent Carvinite if you don't have this Pokemon. So it's going to be a fighting type Terra, the Held Item Shell Bell. Eevee's in a special defense and defense for me but if you're going to use this in the future you're going to want hp and defense i would assume for your pokemon max ivs and everything except for special attack and attack the ability for me is going to be a clear body which uh, stops pokemon from lowering my stats if you're using carbonite you will have the mirror one which reflects it instead and the eevee won't do as much damage but because we're rock and fairy dark's not very effective and normal's not very effective we have body press and iron defense those are the only two moves you need build purposes the other moves i have are amnesia and diamond storm the storm has a 50 percent chance to raise our defense now we're just going to get straight into the seven star raid with Deancey all the same things will apply and it will be exactly the same for you and most body press users will be able to take this raid so with your body press user what you're going to do is you're just going to get to a max defense straight away and use three iron defenses as you can see we barely take any damage so that's plus two defense and because it takes two to three turns for the eevee to steal terror charge we won't have to go through that ordeal as soon as you use your first iron defense the eevee will switch to its weaker move hyper voice there's the steel in terror charge and this is going to be our third iron defense so we are now on plus six defense and we are ready to go on the offensive or defensive should i say so here's the first body press it's going to do a tiny bit of damage to the shield each time until you get to terrestrialize and it'll do a lot more there's another body press and there's the final body press and now we can terrestrialize next turn and do a ton of damage so here we terrestrialize what would have made this raid interesting is if the eevee held eevee light then it would have been a lot closer like when the Pikachu held the light ball, I think it was. So all its normal moves are now neutral against us. We're going to, now we've terrestrialized, we use body press. As you can see, it's doing a lot more damage. We will probably get nullified here though. There it is, the nullification. This is where we will start to use iron defense again. So that's on plus two defense. We did actually try this where I used simple beam on a Carvinite and changed its actual ability. So every time it got nullified, then its actual defense went up 4+. plus when it used iron defense and then it attacked quicker. That was kind of fun to do. So we're on max defense here. As you can see by our health, we've took a lot more damage than last time because we are just a pure fine type, but nothing to take us down. So we're gonna use body press here. We're doing a lot of damage again, we've already caught up and our health will now go back up to max. It's gonna remove negative effects, that's fine. We're gonna use another body press here, which takes it below half. Another body press, now we're getting somewhere. It's got about a third of its health left. Chances are we get nullified here. Yep, there it is, the nullification. You know the drill, time to get to a max iron def max defense again. It uses double edge the first turn, that'll probably do a decent amount of damage. But now it won't use it because we are on a plus two defense. This is where it starts to use two attacks every turn. So that's plus four defense. Tried using charm but it failed miserably. 
Now it's time to finish off the raid. After you get to this point, it's just to use body press until the raid's over. It does get a bit close. You can use a body press after two iron defenses just to get some health back. Then use a third iron defense and then carry on your body presses. Time for the final body press to finish off the Eevee and there we go. Three different ways to take down the seven star Eevee depending on what Pokemon you have available. Surely you have one of these Pokemon available, whether it's Annihilate, which nearly everyone has anyway. Carvanite, a lot of people have that Pokemon built. Our Galarian Zapdos. And we're gonna get some decent rewards here. I need to stack up on HP ups. And there we have it. Hope you found this video helpful. Smash the like button if you have, it does go a long way. Let me know if you're gonna evolve your Eevee, what you're gonna evolve it into. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more guides and builds. And I'll catch you on the next one.